When Louise was diagnosed with myelofibrosis, she felt very alone. She had never heard of the disease, and she didn't know where to turn. She found support in a local patient meeting, where she learned about her condition and met others experiencing the same journey. This is her story. My name is Louise. I live in East Berlin, Pennsylvania, in a place called Lake Mead. Boy, I'll tell you, it's a lonely journey, having myelofibrosis, because of the fact that not many people know about it and not many people want to talk about it. One of my biggest challenges was finding information about this illness. Where did it come from? Why do I have it? And there was little information out there. My friend Alice introduced me to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of Central Pennsylvania. She came to me and said, I hear, I understand that you have myelofibrosis. And she said, this is exactly what we're trying to help. So um, I joined her group. I was thrilled because now I know where I can go to meet people like myself who have this disease, who don't know where to turn to get information. At the Central Pennsylvania chapter, we offer a variety of programs and services to support our patients who are currently living with a diagnosis of blood cancer. We believe that educating patients is really important to empower them to be an active participant in their treatment journey. The LLS is one of many organizations that provide resources and support for people like Louise. The ability to form a network of patients who are going through similar situations is critical. These associations help connect patients with information and with one another so that they can become empowered and feel less alone. Danielle and Alice, they came up with the idea to have a seminar because of people like myself who were reaching out. And so they arranged us uh, up in Harrisburg with Dr. Claxton. Myelofibrosis um, is unique, just as is any other diagnosis. It comes with um, a financial burden, an emotional burden, um, a physical burden. But particular with these folks, um, it's a smaller patient population, so there may not be as many resources of available to them. It's really important to be able to connect with other folks going through similar situations, um, sharing resources, um, and really just sharing that message of hope um, with each other. That is why we decided that this was a great opportunity to bring these folks together, partnering with Dr. Claxton and the Penn State Hershey Cancer Institute to um, host um, a series of programs for myelofibrosis patients. And along the process, um, met Louise. She really came to this program um, thirsting for information and looking for an opportunity to network with other patients living with this diagnosis. Dr. Claxton, he, he was just amazing because he spoke to us in terms that we could understand. He um, explained to us um, the fears that we all have and uh, tried to ease our fears and, and explained to us that we're all different well, patients with myelofibrosis vary a great deal, one to the other. There's certainly an abundance of information out there on the web. People can get confused, though, that way. So really what I try to provide is a, an overview of what the disease is about and what they should expect. You know, I see it as my job to help with um, with educating folks. And, uh, and I have some affection for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They've supported me and my patients in the past, so I want to help them. Uh, but I think, you know, community education is a good thing to do. I felt better after the seminar because I had more power. I had more knowledge. And I think with anybody going down this journey of myelofibrosis, that's what you got to do. You've got to get out there and find out about what you can do for yourself. Try to gain as much information as you possibly can. And always remember, you are not the other person. You are your own thumbprint in your own health and in your own journey. One of the things that I would highly recommend to anybody is to go online and look at Voices of MPN. 
It's a great resource center for people who are looking for information about their illness and also um, about um, talking in a layman's terms. There's all kinds of resources on there also to be able to put together your own group. Be sure to visit the MPN resources page of the Voices of MPN website at www.voicesofmpn.com slash resources. There you can find a list of organizations that provide resources and support. Also be sure to download the Raise Your Voice Toolkit to find local MPN support groups across the country. The Voices of MPN is a great resource for patients um, with a diagnosis of myelofibrosis. Um, it's a great opportunity to find a network of individuals living with this diagnosis. Um, and I think it's a great um, addition to a lot of the other resources that are already out there. Living with a diagnosis like myelofibrosis, um, it's really important to get out there, advocate for your rights, um, seek out that information, um, empower yourself to be um, an active participant in your journey. And that's why programs like this are so important. My journey is much better now than it was in the beginning. I'm never gonna be well again, I know that. But I'm as good as I can be. I also seek out other people and seek out information wherever I can. I'm much more comfortable now in my own skin. A lot of the fun things that I used to like to do, I can no longer do, but I plug them in wherever I can. And on the days that I feel good, I have fun with those things. And on the days that I don't feel good, I sit back and I wait for them to come again. To learn more about how you can get involved, informed, and educated about myelofibrosis and other MPNs, visit www.voicesofmpn.com. Join other patients like Louise in raising your voice and making a difference for yourself and others living with MPNs.